Why might you need a cage? Well, it looks cool. It looks gangster as fuck. We bought the A7 Mark II cage after we got our A7S Mark IIs and we had a really nice time using the A7 cage that Small Rig had. Uh, it was recently where Small Rig hooked us up with the shoulder rig components. We use them for a bit and they actually work really well together. So we'll go over some of the components here. Right now we have the standard A7 Mark II cage that Small Rig put out a little bit after the original A7 Mark II came out. We also have this additional bracket, which adds a hot shoe on the right corner, right over the grip of the camera. At the back of the camera, we have their Z offset, which is attached to their shoulder pad. And on top of that, we have a V mount for a counterbalance. Right here at the front is what Small Rig calls a collarbone with a quick release uh, rail attachment. Attached to the collarbone is Small Rig's Ari style rosette arms with a uh, black leather handle on each end. All the components are solid aluminum, so they're very lightweight, but also sturdy enough to take a beating out there in the field, take a pounding out there. So I'm lifting up, it feels really great in the hands. Ooh, it feels great on the shoulders too. It's like, mm, you know when it's, ooh, when, when the shoulder pad is just right, ooh, bless. When it really comes down to it, it's how you build the rig. And Small Rig has plenty of great components to build you know, as many rigs as you want. It's even They even have universal cage systems. The great thing about this cage is all the holes in it. You can screw whatever you want in there. The machine real nicely, no lube necessary. This cage was initially designed for the A7 Mark II and the A7R Mark II. Uh, if you're an A7S Mark II user, you'll know that you have to push this little button down to switch modes on your camera with this additional bracket that you can purchase, which is nice if you want to add more accessories and a hot shoe, it'll actually block that button. So one of the components that I was really excited for was this new sliding top handle that Small Rig uh, put out. We had their original NATO handle, which is really great for attaching different accessories. Right now we have a Noga Cine arm on top, one of the best articulating arms you can get for your camera. With this uh, sliding attachment right here, you can actually move the handle forward and back as necessary, you know, to kind of give your, give your rig a better handle when you pick it up right there. The last piece of equipment we have here on the rig is the lens support for when you're on set and you just gotta keep it up for a long period of time. So why do you need a shoulder rig? Well, why do we need to eat breakfast in the morning? Why do we need to kiss our loved ones goodbye every morning because we're not really sure if we'll ever make it back at the end of these long days. It's just something that you do. It's something that's a part of life. Aside from providing some steadiness when you're running and gunning, shoulder rig is also good for adding some shakiness when you're shooting a narrative film. New cameras are always being released and it's good to know that small rig stays up to date with matching accessories. We can safely say that they're one of the best bang for your buck companies out there when you try to look for accessories for your camera. They didn't pay me to say that, but they did give me all this cool shit. So that was our half stop review of the A7 Mark II cage and the shoulder rig from small rig. Next week, we may not see you for another three months. Okay, okay, just leave my family alone. <laughs>